So now rotation theory of plate tectonics. Now rotation theory of plate tectonics, this is a concept in which we try to explain the movements of the plates okay, along or about an axis of rotation, which is not the axis of rotation of the earth. Okay, rather something called as Euler's axis. So Euler's axis, how to explain this particular movement. Now in this case, the idea is the plates are there, there is this axis of rotation and we will try to understand it by the globe. Uh, anyone please come here because you'll have to hold the globe. So come on this side. Ah. Okay, everyone. So now see here, this is the globe over here with, let's say, it's a north-south axis. Okay, so, so this one now becomes a rotating earth like this. Now in this case, if this is the axis or let's say this is the axis and the rotation is taking place like this axis of rotation. Now in this case, hold it from here. So in this case, now what I have is the two plates. Okay, let's say like this and like this. The idea is the plates are the planes. They are on a spherical plane. Now as they move here, let's say they are moving like this. What we have to figure out is when the movement is taking place, what path it is tracing. So let's say, for example, uh, hold it in this direction so that huh. So let's say now in this case, this plate over here is tracing this path. So plate is tracing this path. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this path like this, and I'm going to create a circle around it. This is along which it is moving. So there is this rotation taking place along this circle. There is this one line which I can draw. For this point, I can draw another circle. For this point, I can draw another circle. So effectively what you will get parallel circles and all the centers of this circle. If I combine, what will I get a axis passing from here to here? Okay. So now just think of this as the new axis. This remains as an axis. Okay. So this is the axis. Okay. Can you hold it like this for me? Leave that. Huh. Hold it here and hold it here. This is the new axis for us. This axis is still exists. I'm saying that the plate was moving like this. Now you can see the rotation can look something like this. See the rotation taking place like this. And this rotation, this again comes up. You can see the complete rotation and the axis reaching here. This is a new axis of rotation for you, but this is not the axis of rotation for the earth. This is the rotational path for what plate. And now I can say this plate is moving along or are about a rotational axis, which is a different axis. It is not axis of rotation. It is dependent on the movement of the plate. Okay. So this axis that you see over here, this axis intersects earth at two points, one at here, one at here. These are called as Euler point, Euler point. So Euler point determines the movement of the plates. Now, very interesting idea when the plate would be moving like this, I'll have the circles drawn like this. Tell me now in this case, this plate, this point on the plate and this point on the plate, which is farther from the Euler pole. Lower one, this one is farther from the Euler pole. So circumference of this would be more. So in the same time, this point on the plate has to move more or less more. So it's velocity would be high. This point velocity would be less. So this point is going to move less. This point is going to move more. So as these plate moves, they move at a differential speed, the part different parts of the same plate. And so it results in what it results in cracks over here. See, this is what we called earlier as, let's think, think now. There are two plates over here, okay? like this and this. The plate is moving out like this. This is which type of boundary? This is divergent type of boundary. So what should I find here? MOR, ridge. Yes, agree everyone? 
but now because the parts different parts of the same plate consider this to be let's say your north american plate consider this to be your eurasian plate mid atlantic over here this part of the plate and this part of the plate is moving at differential speed and that's where a crack would develop here this crack is perpendicular to mor and what did you call this crack as transform fault so this is how transform faults are formed so transform faults are formed perpendicular to this or you can say parallel to the circular path along which the plate is moving about the euler's axis this is what is called as the rotational theory of plate tectonics everyone understood this so now let me hold it over here and now you rotate it again everyone take a look very clearly this is the axis and so now rotate it ha huh. you rotate it and see in again the pole has reached the axis has reached there only so there is no difference in that the earth is not actually rotating along this we are visualizing it to be rotating because we are trying to create a circle uh, the circles out of it so this is how exactly the movement can be visualized and so in all the cases the uh, euler pole is here i have a circles which now look like this understood thank you so in this case what we can see is effectively the by the diagram if we try to understand it what we can see first of all is again the movement of the plates in this case now first thing this is your north pole this is your south pole this is rotational axis of the earth now you can see plate is moving like this as the plate is moving like this its circle would be formed something like a this and this this is the circle or this should be the circle or this should be the circle in any of the cases if i join the center of all of them i get this axis this is the spreading axis or this is the spreading axis over here so this point should be called as what now euler's pole okay likewise this point should be called as the euler's pole and now we are saying the plates are moving around about them this is the axis of rotation so you can see the plates are moving about them that's the first scenario second scenario how it would look like so if you have this as the spreading axis now i can see the circles around it yes this pretty much looks like how the latitude looks uh, when we take the rotational axis of the earth you can see these are the latitudes over here remnant parts so this looks like this if the plate is spread over here now you see this plate is spread over here which plate will have uh, which part of the plate will have lesser velocity this one okay so this part that is one let's say one two three can i say over here that v3 is greater than v2 is greater than v1 the reason because the circumference is more angular velocity is same but the circumference is more so three part three has to cover greater distance in the same time so its velocity is more less least as a result of which what happens you can see in the third diagram what has happened there is this plate so this is your again euler's axis and in this case of euler's axis this part of the plate is moving out then you have this part then you have this part and so on so in this case this part has maximum speed it has moved up to here this part has maximum speed moved here minimum so it is moving less it is moving more and that's why you see breaks over here cracks over here these are the cracks which would be called as transform or transverse faultings so this is how exactly whole of the process happens
so this is the concept of the rotation rotation theory of plate tectonics so rotation theory of plate tectonics now can be shown first of all with respect to the rotational axis so i'll show it something like the first scenario where i have the north and south here okay so there would be uh, there are certain latitudes here and then you have a euler's axis euler's axis let's say we are showing it something like this this is the euler's axis so this one i am calling as euler pole and around it now i'll create these circles so there is this circle there is this circle there is this circle this is how it is going to look like and in this case effectively there is this plate over here the same idea of v1 v2 and v3 and your v3 greater than v2 greater than v1 and what it would result into can be shown from the uh, top view from the top view it would be very clear so from the top view if you have to see from the top view top view from here the euler's pole so from the euler's pole now it is going to look pretty much like this these are the circles that from the top view we are looking at so in this case uh, let's say now uh, what we can find is there is this one plate side here okay and on another side i have another plate so let's say over here i have uh, a plate over here and of course uh, now this plate goes here so how should i divide the plates is where the parts nearer to the euler's pole is going to move less okay the one so let's say this plate parts move here so i can draw it pretty much like this part has moved up to here only but this part has moved up to here let's say this part has moved up to here and this whole thing is one plate one side is this one plate so whatever i'm shading this is all one side of the plate here so this becomes all one plate okay this is one plate and on the other side i have this as another plate so this is another plate looking from the top view okay this is how it is going to look like so this is another plate over here and so in this case i am going to complete these circles back again so completing these circles over here this circle these two circles so where should i find these transform faults now where are the transform faults in this diagram transform faults yes which are the transform faults this is one transform fault transverse fault over here then another transverse fault there is this another transverse fault that i find over here okay likewise you could have drawn here also no issues in that okay i have shown only two trans uh, transverse faultings here so this is the concept of transverse faulting and this is the mystery to how come transverse fault develops because in this case if the plates are moving like this effectively the features i should find here only okay but it is due to the rotation that different parts of the same plate starts moving in different velocity and so crack develops here also although effectively it seems that it has nothing to do with this direction whatever is happening it is going should happen along this only that is the mid oceanic ridge in our example 
Okay, so this is the rotational theory related to the Euler's axis, Euler's pole, and how the movement of the plates take place as well as the formation of the transverse faults. This is rotational theory of plate tectonics.